Hmm. Interesting. Okay. If I'm being 100% honest with y'all, I don't know if I'm going to keep this video up simply because I can't edit it. I do know that a lot, like, I don't have any viewers, but I wanted to leave it so you can go back and forth and watching it. So I'm just going to talk for, like, 10, 15 minutes, and I'll decide if I want to, if I want to keep this up or not. Anyways, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my first live. Um, my name is Jessica. I am a store in Charleston, South Carolina named BFK Collection. And I just wanted to make this video because I have a few people telling me about their boutique um, journeys, opening their first brick and mortars. Congratulations, y'all. But I also wanted just to have a little video telling y'all what I wouldn't do, but more in like a broader audience instead of them specifically, simply because I don't want anything to be like weird and icky, like, oh, she's just not happy for me. So I'm just gonna make this video talking about if I was opening my business right now with what I know, what I wouldn't do. Okay, so... The first thing is location. Location is really, really important. I prop, I personally wouldn't would make sure to only spend about a dollar to two dollars per square footage for any short term lease. So anything that is a short term lease, I think if I'm correct, short term leases or any lease that's not a permanent lease, if you deal with a mall, you might hear them say something like, oh my God, what is this thing called? Um, I forgot. But you might, simply because I'm not editing this, I'm talking as fast as I can. Um, Short-term leases, from my understanding, there are three-year, like two-year leases and under. Um, and there are leases that are more flexible. Sometimes the contractor, the contractee, the person that's leasing you that place can kick you out. They are responsible for some things. But when you have a long-term lease, that's basically your your thing for however many years you have it. So, for example, my first contract here was a short-term contract if something really broke down they would fix it but this contract is a five-year contract this is a long-term contract whatever happens it's none of their business and i'm responsible for it so let's say if my door break i gotta pay for it if my plumbing goes out i gotta pay for it my ac's fucked up i gotta pay for it so understanding short-term leases versus long-term leases for any short-term leases i would recommend a dollar to two dollars and long-term leases i wouldn't even recommend your first contract which is three years five years seven years or more i wouldn't recommend your first contract with any company or your first contract ever with commercial leasing to be a long-term lease even if you're sure you're gonna be there simply because it's a little more complicated and i would prefer anybody to have some trials and understanding so they can fuck up and still have somebody to hold their hands throughout that process Okay, the other thing is lo location part two is making sure that your location, for me, I specifically made sure my location was at a great place. I only wanted to have my store at the outlet, the mall, um, or downtown. I did not want to have strip malls. Now, if you do have a location in a strip mall, I would just say make sure that the location is one of the best strip mall wherever you are or the best strip mall of that town or that city generally if it is a mall contact them figure out your rate like that 
if it and same thing if it's downtown the other thing is money if i am anybody starting i'm really cheap so these things fell into place for me when it comes to money but i do understand that a lot of people are not as frugal as i am so you guys i'm i'm, I'm sorry to say it but you guys just be wasting money but so the other thing is so make sure your location is as close to big stores as possible so for example i have a windsor not that like literally like two doors down i have i'm right by an air postal i'm right by yankee candle i'm not that close but i'm like maybe three or four stores down to bed bath and body works i'm right next to the children place i'm on the same um hall as dillard's i still have those big fashion stores and those big stores that are that bring traffic instead of someone that is right by a location that have nothing to do there with their business they're the only store that can do that so like for example when somebody comes to the mall they look for a place like rainbow they look for charlotte roots they're not gonna look for your small business so you're gonna have to force them to see you and that's that the i guess third part about when it comes to location would be um make sure your location is as good as possible now i'm talking to someone that's starting their business and they were telling me about the amount of money that they had to spend if they did the certain things the way they wa they wanted to um and i do understand that everybody is like me or not everybody that have it like my first store or that had the opportunities that i did but make sure your store is as decent as you could now i did have to spend a f like maybe a thousand dollar in my store but it was like my store all i needed when i opened was painting i paint everything by myself my wife helped me with probably like 10 percent of the painting that's it and then the other thing moving everything because when i moved into my store i had everything i'm getting a customer so Hi, welcome to BFK Collection. Can I help you find anything? No, I'm just looking at the hills. Oh. Okay, let me know if you need any help, okay? Right. If you don't see your size or if you'd like for me to help you put anything together or find something specific, I'd be more than happy to help All right. you. All right. All right. They got Okay, I'll see you soon. I forgot what I was saying. But anyways, people are not going to see your business. You have to make sure your location is good enough for them to not miss it. 
Um, make sure your store has pretty much everything done for you so you don't have to spend too much money because you want to make sure you're not spending too much money. Therefore, a store that is almost done, a store that have everything done, is better for you than a store that doesn't. I know not everybody's not going to have that opportunity or that chance or that option, but if you do, take it. Um, or, like, I would recommend it. Now, and then the other thing, when you first get your store, when you first get your store, call an electrician and make them take a look at your electrical wiring. Try to get all of your lights to be... Um, I, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know, but to be LED lights, because regular lights are hot. If you're at a mall, everybody's on one seat, so just understand that, um, LED lights make so my father-in-law works in construction, so he came in, take a look at all all of my electrical wiring and that worked for me so oh my god i actually have people here so yeah uh, my father-in-law works in construction so he checked everything for me and told me where all of my wiring was what did i need and helped me out with that and then the other thing, when you're opening up your brick and mortar, just make sure um, you do everything as fast as possible. I know that's going to be hard, and I know that's, like, harsh for me to tell you to do everything as fast as possible. The faster you get things going, the faster um, you start making money. So I wouldn't recommend you get a store until things were together i would recommend you sign that contract until you had you have um you have every like you have your rags your clothes your accessories i just wouldn't recommend you open your store until things were um there for you so you don't waste time and waste money because the moment you get those keys you're going to start paying for location whether you have a month free you're still paying for that location um <laughs> thank you well welcome so the other thing, I, one thing that I would say that is a good... So, when I first opened my store, I had one person that was a little bit of my everything. They helped me clean, fix my bathroom. They were a plumber. They also helped me paint my dressing room. And they also helped me paint the part of my sign that I couldn't reach. I tried to do it by myself. Uh, but I'm afraid of heights, so Babe and I talked about it, and it was just best for me to um, do it, to actually hire somebody to do it. Um, just make sure as you're opening up your store, you are spending as little money as possible because every dime counts. You have to understand during that time, especially if you're opening it. Like when I opened my store, that was my main, main income. I did not have a job anymore so you had to make sure you still have half of what you started with as your income just in case if you start your store at a horrible month or at a horrible location and you still have to get people to come to your location you still you can still make your rent you can still pay things you're not going out of pocket you're not going bankrupt um I don't know how else I can explain these things. I'm trying my best to just be um, as slow, as understanding, as well as I can. But that is how 
I would recommend, these are the things that I would do and would not do if I was opening up my first store with as much experience as I have. If you guys have any questions, I do have two people watching. Um, please do let me know. If you two have any questions right now, just let me know and I'll answer them right now. But if you guys don't, thank you so much for coming. I do want to know if you guys would like for me to do a live event, like once a week, like Thursday at 4. Not at 4 or Thursday, but if you guys would like for me to do like a live when and what, um, in what time, I would be more than happy to come in and read comments and just talk about whatever you guys would like. You guys pick the, um, the subject and tell me when and I will show up. But anyways, if you guys do not have any questions, thank you so much for watching um i will see you guys soon in fact i thought today was friday so i decided to make this video because i thought this was my friday video which it wasn't but i will most likely see y'all again on friday but yeah anyways thanks so much for watching you guys have a good day bye